The split line tool in SOLIDWORKS can be very powerful for being able to take a surface selection like this one and use sketch geometry and other geometry to split it out into multiple selections. Now this can be good for doing surface operations or even being able to create boundary conditions for a simulation. Now in this case what you'll notice is if I take this sketch and I'm just going to go ahead and edit it. You can simply go in and double click to edit. And I'm going to use the insert split line. We're going to be on the projection. It's going to use the current sketch. And what you'll notice is if I select the face that I want to split, when I hit OK, now I'm going to have two face selections. Now one of the things that's challenging is let's say I have a sketch that has all of these in here. And let's say I've got a couple of these circles, I've got a couple of construction lines, and I'm going to go in and edit this one as well. And I'm going to insert curve split line. I'll use the same option. And when I hit OK, I'm going to get this error message. Now you're going to get this error message, or let's say you're using something like text in a sketch and you want to split that out. A lot of times you'll get the single entity uh, error message. And so there's a way around this. In 2009 uh, and earlier, this is a, a limitation. But what we can do is you can use the extrude option for surfaces. And I'm just going to use this sketch to extrude. I'm going to use the midplane option so I have an intersection between the surface bodies and that face. And surfaces are just zero thickness representations of that sketch. So now when I go in and I do insert curve split line, I'm going to use this intersection option. And this will let me select all three of these bodies that I just made. I'm going to select the face I want to split and you'll notice I automatically get that preview. Now when I hit OK, I could just go in and hide those surface bodies and now I have my selections as I need. It's better than having to create multiple sketches for each of these circles and I can just do one single extrude and then use the intersection curve to adjust.